Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, it is definitely award season, and many people will be tuning in Sunday to this year's Oscars to be able to see who the big winners were for film and performances. But the day before, you guys can catch the 42nd Golden Raspberry Award winners as well. And this is something that's really special because today's guest is John Wilson. He's the founding creator of the Golden Raspberry Awards of the Razzies. We're going to talk to him about those who are being honored for the worst films and performances, how this all began, and of course what you guys can expect coming up this Saturday as well. John, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. You are very welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Very welcome. Um, just for your <laughs> listeners who aren't familiar with us, and we've been around 42 years, so a lot of people are. This is the opposite of all the other award shows. They're up there, you know, back slapping and butt kissing and saying how wonderful they are, and we're down below with a pea shooter going. <laughs> um, these are the worst <laughs> achievements in film. It is a voted award. We have about 1,150 or so members throughout all 49, well, all 49, through 49 United States and about 25 foreign countries. We vote online. We have a forum on our website. We pay attention to box office, which these days not every movie plays in a theater. We pay attention mm-hmm. to Rotten Tomatoes. We poll our members and see what they think ought to be up for the award. And we have a whole long list. We've got ten categories. And, John, it was interesting for me when I was prepping for this segment to see how this all began. Could you have imagined that your idea of having a – bad experience in watching uh, two films, and then, of course, realizing that you weren't the only one who thought that, that they were bad films. Could you have imagined that now you would be celebrating the 42nd annual event uh, and people looking forward to these the way they do? <laughs> it is supposed to be amusing. Uh, I think everyone but the winners find it funny. Um, it actually, yes, it was a double feature. I only paid 99 cents 40-some years ago to see... Olivia Newton-John in Xanadu and the village people in Can't Stop the Music, which were both disco musicals. And when I asked for my 99 cents back, they said no. And I remember driving home that evening, coming up with a list. It's like, these aren't the only two. I saw a lot of movies in 1980. Um, right. These aren't the only two worthy of an award on the opposite end of the scale. And the very first one we held in my living room alcove after the Oscars were over, um, we pulled people up from the buffet table to a cardboard podium to present them. It was very silly. We've tried to retain that silliness over the years to take some of the bite out of it. But no, I would not have thought uh, in March of 1981 that in March of 2022 it would still be going and it it's pretty much known all over the world. In fact, just last night, we were mentioned on Jeopardy. Yeah, not surprising. I mean, I saw this year's nominees for the Razzies in The Hollywood Reporter. I mean, so, so I think, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's one of those things that it really has become such a big thing. So let's talk about, everyone's been talking about, of course, the nominees uh, for the Oscars for this year. Let's talk about the nominees for, for the Razzies for this year, because it is a fascinating list. Talk to us about some of those who topped the list. All right. We could start with Worst Picture, which is an interesting mix of various genres and types of movies. Uh, Coming forward with the most awards, Netflix was one of the big backers of the Broadway bomb, Diana the Musical. And during the shutdown, they actually filmed it and then put it streaming uh, for their um, subscribers. It is the funniest of the five bad movies that are nominated. The lyrics are ridiculous. The choreography is clumsy. Um, the basic structure of the whole thing is quite silly. The choreography is even weird. Um, also on the list, Infinite, which was a $140 million movie that went straight to streaming. Karen, which uh, plays off of the Internet meme about 
um, intolerant white people being nicknamed Karen because one of them was captured on video. Space Jam, A New Legacy, which purports to be a children's film but is actually a product reel for Warner Media. And then a remake of one of my favorite movies from when I was young. I loved Rear Window, the old Alfred Hitchcock movie. They kind of did a knockoff of it called Woman in the Window, and don't go looking for surprises or good performances in that thing. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, as I mentioned, we're going to be able to see who the winners of the Razzies are the day before the Oscars. So that's going to be coming up on Saturday, March the 26th. John, let our audience know, where can they go to be able to to, uh, to, to catch the winners? Well, we are here in L.A. There are still COVID restrictions in place. And so um, we were not able to book a hall in time to get everything together. We are doing an online announcement this year. We have a channel at the at YouTube called the Razzie Channel. We will be announcing with an animated video who the winners in all of these various categories are, and that should go online sometime early Saturday. Okay. And we'll make sure that we link that up for our audience. Again, everyone, John Wilson has been our guest, the founder and creator of the Golden Raspberry Awards of the Razzies, uh, talking to us about how this all began and now, of course, celebrating the 42nd uh, Golden Raspberry Awards coming up, the winners being announced on Saturday, March the 26th. John, so appreciate you stopping by the program and looking forward to speaking with you again. All right, and I, I always like to sign off with the sound that the Razzies are all about. <laughs> Well, well, I, th- thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webster. As always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>